Hey, this is Elijah with Breakdance, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how Breakdance's Grid Builder WP integration works. Before recording, I went ahead and set up a custom post type. In this example, they're movies. They've got a few fields like genre, who stars in them, rating, and earnings, and I've just listed them here on the movies page on my site using the post loop builder, but I wanna add some filtering options. So that's where the grid builder WP integration comes in. Let's jump back to the dashboard and let's go down to our grid builder WP item in the WordPress admin panel. And we're gonna to go to all facets. Once we're in here, we have a few different options, but for right now, we're gonna go with sort. Let's go ahead and import a sort facet, and then let's go ahead and edit this. We'll go over here to the gear icon and click edit, and we'll go over to the behavior tab here. This is where we're gonna be able to determine what we can sort these posts by. So right now we have a few options like newest, oldest, and title. We wanna add a new option. We wanna be able to sort by rating and by earning. So let's click add option. We'll enter a label and say rating. We'll click the order by dropdown and go on down and choose custom field, which is somewhere near the bottom here. And we'll leave it on descending and then we'll enter our field name, which is just rating. If we start typing this, it's gonna show us what's available, which is super handy. So this is the field we want. We'll just click that. Now let's add one for earnings. We'll say earnings. And again, we'll choose custom field here. So let's scroll down, custom field, and then we'll enter the field name, which is not quite as friendly as our ACF field name because we did not customize it. But here's the name of this field that holds our earnings value. So we're gonna paste that in and choose that. Now let's save these changes. And now that our facet is created, we can go over to Breakdance and we can add our Grid Builder WP elements. So let's search for that and drop it in. Now we can choose our facet, which is sort. And it tells us that this is where this facet will appear on the front end. Let's go ahead and move it up to the top, just above that divider there. And one more thing we need to do is we need to select our post loop element and going down to the WP Grid Builder item in the properties panel, and we need to enable WPGB. Now that that's done, this facet that we've added on this page will work on our post loop element. So let's save and jump up to the front end and check that out. So here we have our product order facet, and we can choose to sort by newest, oldest, title A through Z, title Z through A, and then the special sort by options that we've added. So if we wanna see the highest rated movies, first we can click rating and we get rating eight, seven, six, etc. If we wanna see the highest earning movies, we click earnings. And just like that, we get the highest earning movies first, eight million, seven million, six million. Now, this is pretty cool, but what if we also want to be able to filter by genre or star? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's go back to our facets and go back to our list of facets because we need to add a new one. Let's go ahead and add a new facet and we'll call it genre. We'll put genre in here as well. And then under behavior, we need to pick filter. And for this, let's go ahead and do a drop down. Now genre is a taxonomy, so we need to choose taxonomy and we need to find genre. There we go. And let's go ahead and save those changes. We may need to come back and tweak things a little bit, but this should just work. So let's go here and we do need to refresh to make sure that facet's available here. And we want both of these facets. We want the sort by and our genre filter. So let's go ahead and rearrange this section a little bit. Let's add a columns element and we're gonna make it probably this kind of a layout with a smaller sidebar. Let's go ahead and move this up between our dividers and let's drop our post loop builder into the right column there and our WP grid builder facet into the left column. Now, because we have a narrower space, let's go ahead and edit the layout a bit on this post loop builder to make sure that it looks decent. So let's go ahead and say grid here and then let's say two items per row instead of three. Now we wanna duplicate this facet and we're gonna pick the new facet we made, which was genre, and just drop it in right there. Now we'll go ahead up to the front end and take a look at what we've got. So now we can sort by earnings, which we are currently. So the highest earning movies are at the top of the list, but we can also sort by genre. So if we wanna see the highest earning movies that are in the 
action genre, for instance, we can go ahead and click that. And you're going to see that not only do we see only movies with the action genre, but also they're sorted by earnings. So let's go one step further here and let's jump back over to Grid Builder and let's create another facet so that we can filter movies by stars. So let's do stars, stars, and we're going to go ahead to behavior and this is going to be another filter but we're gonna do something like a checkbox instead of a dropdown. So let's go down here. And again, this is a taxonomy. So we just find stars in our taxonomies list and we'll double check all of our settings. I believe they'll all be good to go. So let's go in here and let's drop in that facet. So let's duplicate that and load up our stars facet. Let's save and jump up to the front end. And you can see here that the way Grid Builder WP works is that it's kind of aware of all the other filters that are set, even though these are separate facets. So it knows that the only stars that are valid choices right now with the genre filter on action are these stars here. So let's go back to no genre filter and let's just see everything that uh, Amber Grace is in. Perfect. And let's see anything that Amber Grace and Scarlet Knightley are in. Perfect. Now the final thing we can do here is we can utilize Grid Builder WP's load more facets. So let's go ahead and go back to facets and let's create one here and we'll call this load more. Load more and then behavior, we're gonna say load. Now under loading type, we wanna do load more and we're gonna do click and we're gonna tell it to load 10 more and everything else should be able to stay default. Now we do need to limit our movie results over here a bit. So let's say pagination, let's go to query and let's edit our query and change it to say three movies per page. Perfect. So now we get three movies per page, but we want to load more button below that. So let's duplicate this and we're going to drag it down below our movies list here. And then in the facet, we need to choose load more. Now let's go ahead and save and jump up to the front end and see what that looks like. Now we're gonna need to clear our filters here to make sure that plenty of items are returned. Now, when we scroll down, we get the load more button. Now this title is optional and can be removed back here in our settings. Let's go ahead and clear that out, save that and then we'll see on the front end that looks a little bit better. So if we click load more, it's gonna show us more movies without having to reload the whole page. Now, as I said, this Grid Builder WP integration works with post loop builders, which is what we're looking at here, where I've created a completely custom layout using a global block, and I'm looping through posts and using that global block to display those posts data. It also works with the normal post list element and it works with the products list element, which means you can add advanced filtering like this to your WooCommerce shop pages in just a few clicks. Again, this is Elijah with Breakdance and that's how to use Breakdance's new Grid Builder WP integration. Thanks for watching.